Okay. I think we're live. <laughs> you guys are going to have to bear with me. Uh, this is going to be my first test of uh, using this new streaming software called Zoom. And so I'm hoping that it'll work. <laughs> I think we're live. All right. There's a, there's, a, there's a pretty big delay in between these. And so I'm hoping that doesn't screw me up too much. I'm trying to get this set where I can actually see the chat as well. Okay. So today, hey, cool. Uh, we got somebody in here face face the sky can you hear me okay and see me okay and everything like that is the volume good i can move the mic closer okay all right so what we're going to do is i'm going to i've had a few people ask me to go through uh, my first aid kit so that's what i'm going to do today um this is like that's what i call my prepper <laughs> first aid kit kind of my my big one in case there was a big problem in case we had to bug out of the house um you know with the vehicles i'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this in take it with us um kind of a trauma kit first aid kit kind of just a little bit of everything and um and it's got a bunch of crap in it so it's probably going to take me a little while a little while to get through this um so i guess i'm just going to go ahead and just start breaking it apart because, and, and kind of what I'm doing here also is I'm, I'm doing an inspection um, to make sure to see if I have, um, you know, uh, expired items. And I just want to make sure that uh, I got everything. So first thing, um, this I bought off of Amazon, this kit. And I want to say the kit, it came with a bunch of stuff, but I've added a ton of stuff too. And I want to say the kit was like 250 or something like that on Amazon. And uh, I'll, I'll try to, if I can find it, if they still have them, I'll try to throw a, a link down in the description below once we get finished. So I'll just do this first pocket here on the outside. And uh, um, I try to have somewhat of a rhyme or reason to it, but I, I admit that I'm, it's not entirely organized perfectly. So um, first thing I got here is some wound wash and it looks like I'm gonna have to replace that and um, this is just Neil Med wound wash. And what I'm gonna do is, is the stuff that hasn't been opened, that's expired, I'll take and I'll keep that because a lot of this stuff's probably still good and I'll just put it in a box that says expired and we'll use that like as a last resort kind of thing. Um, you know, unless it's something that I think would, would probably go bad, but this is basically, uh, this is basis, basically, uh, uh, sterile saline solution. So I can't imagine that if it's not open, it's gonna go bad. But anyway, uh, here's some hand sanitizer gel. And this stuff is only 62% alcohol, ethyl alcohol. So I'll probably replace it with some stuff that's 70% or higher, just with the whole coronavirus scare going around. Um, that'll, that'll kind of, uh, it'll kill the 70% or higher will kill the coronavirus. So I'll probably replace that too. We got several things right off the bat here. Uh, this is Bactine, and it says it's supposed to be replaced uh, in January of 18. It's been a little while since I've gone through this. And so I'll probably get some more of that as well. Bactine is a kind of like a pain relieving cleansing spray kind of thing. All right, um, next up, just some acetaminophen. And then this is, uh, some acetaminophen and aspirin uh, right here. And then I've got some ibuprofen. And so with acetaminophen and aspirin, or excuse me, acetaminophen and ibuprofen, you can stack those two. Uh, you just don't wanna have more than one NSAID. Um, <laughs> face this guy. Yeah, I'm, what I'm, when I'm saying bugging out, I'm saying that I would have to, I would be traveling to my bug out location. And so I would, throw this in the truck. Not that I'm carrying it with me on my backpack. If you've, if you've watched the show or, you know, my channel for any length of time, you know that I always recommend 
uh, layering everything. And so the first layer, if I had to leave the house, would be packing the truck and a trailer and all kinds of crap with me and taking that, you know, if possible. Um, okay. So we've got some bags in here, uh, just some trash bags, you know, who knows what you'd use those for. I've also got some um, bars of soap. This is dial uh, soap for cleaning hands and, you know, all that kind of jazz. And then I've got some, uh, some little droppers um, in case, you know, for measuring out bleach or different medications or whatever the case may be. Um, let me stick this stuff back in here as we go so that I don't get too off track. Okay, and then uh, I also got some uh, uh, little uh, hexamine tablets, little esbit cubes and a, a lighter. And that's not necessarily for fire, but more for sterilizing instruments and stuff. Uh, if you had to, it was like a worst case scenario. You could use you know, some of that hand sanitizer, um, but you could also use uh, fire as well. A little bit more Advil. And then I've also got some cordage down in here. Um, I've got some bigger cordage and some smaller, this is like shock cordage. And my thought was, is that this stuff might be good for, uh, making splints potentially. Um, you know, who knows? And then I also have some wire in here and I don't remember why I put that in there, <laughs> but it's in there. So, so that's pretty much that first pocket almost I've got a couple more things. Uh, I got some some duct tape just kind of rolled up on a pen or a pencil here. And again, that's good for splinting, stabilizing fingers, and that kind of thing. And then I've got just a little, a uh, little fixed blade knife. that's pretty sharp. Okay. So I'm going to replace those. So I'll go ahead and close this up. Uh, we'll go ahead and go with this side panel, the side pocket right here. Okay, so the first thing I got is a big bottle of uh, Provodone, Provodone iodine. And um, I think this is expired also. I think I need to get a new one of these too, although I'm sure it probably doesn't go bad either. Let me see. Yeah, it looks like it, it expired in September of 18. So... Again, uh, I'll keep it because it's probably fine. It's 10%. You can also use this stuff for uh, water purification, but you can use it, you know, to make a dilute solution for cleaning wounds and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, got some just cotton squares and some cotton balls, a roll of TP, and then uh, two splints, two SAM splints, and then one a uh, little finger splint. It's just a little um, um, foam finger splint. Okay, let's put this back in. Some of the stuff in here, um, I don't necessarily, I, all this stuff I do, uh, splints and everything like that, but some of the stuff we'll look at here in a minute, I don't necessarily know how to use as far as like surgical tools. I don't know how to do surgery and you know, all that kind of stuff, but I figured it's better to have some of this stuff. And then, you know, if there's a doctor around the area or in the group or whatever the case may be, then they can use the tools. Okay. So we're going to go on the end pocket over here. And so here we've got an oxygen mask and oxygen tubes. And this is kind of one of those things that I'm probably not going to have any oxygen with me, but you know, I thought uh, perhaps these tubes and all that kind of stuff could potentially be useful for something. Um, same thing with these, it's a couple of uh, nasal cannula, two packages of those. These came with the kit and another oxygen mask. And then we've got uh, the big airbag for, um, you know, for intubating, I don't know what it's called intubating, but uh, basically giving them oxygen, breathing, breathing for, for someone. And then I just threw in a uh, jolly tank <laughs> uh, just to be able to 
transport fluids, water, whatever the case may be. Um, figured it could probably be used as a emergency bedpan kind of kind of thing if you needed to or something. So there's those. Now we'll get into the main compartment. It's got the majority of the stuff in it. And if you guys think of stuff that I don't have in here that you think would be a good addition, please let me know down in the comments below because I'm always looking for uh, good suggestions on that stuff. Okay, so we'll open this top part up here. And I don't know if you can see that. We've got some stuff in this top flap. Um, I'll just pull it out real quick. Uh, side here. All right, so first thing is two. I've got two of these in here. Uh, there's another one right in here. Oh, you see it there? Uh, two survival blankets for treating shock. Then we've got some uh, tri-oral uh, rehydration salts. Um, re Dehydration is kind of a big deal. Uh, I've got a little package of, of some gloves there. I got those right up front, the, the gloves, especially just because, it, you know, you want to make sure you put those on early on. Okay. Down here, I've got two of these different Adventure Medical uh, Dental, um, Dental Medic, basically like temporary dental stuff in case you have a broken tooth or something along those lines. No, the are cracking. I don't have any O2. Um, Got some more uh, duct tape just wrapped around a little, little card. And then a few more pairs of gloves. And oh, we got the uh, zombie emergency dental kit. Um, I think I showed that to you guys a long time ago, but I think that came off of eBay, just another dental deal. And then we've also got some Dentec uh, Temperin uh, Max. And basically that's like a chip a tooth or something. You can put some of this stuff on there. To kind of kind of keep the ends from being exposed as much and all that. At least that's my understanding. I'm not a medic. Uh, when I was a seer instructor, I was trained to about a, like a wilderness first responder kind of level, but uh, that and some other basic, you know, trauma type stuff, with TCC and, and those kind of things. Are about the extent of my, my medical training. Okay, so we also have uh, one of these old um, masks for uh, giving CPR. Um, just if they're like aspirating and stuff like that, sometimes it's kind of nasty. Um, we had to give mouth to mouth to a guy once years ago. He was out doing some pheasant hunting and he boop, fell over dead. And um, so we were we were helping him, and then and it was like. 45 minutes before the ambulance got there and it was kind of kind of nasty <laughs> anyhow um all right so ace bandage um got some uh curlex and a large roll of curlex so we got here soft clean and again this stuff is not for the aftercare this is just for kind of the initial something happens um, as far as aftercare goes, I think it's one of the most um, overlooked things in prepping is the, the amount of bandages that you need to, to take care of somebody with even just like a single gunshot wound. It's a lot. And so you really need to have several boxes of bandages and, and uh, four by fours and, you know, all that kind of stuff for taking care of somebody. You know, it's going to take six to eight weeks or whatever to heal probably. A couple of instant cold packs. More soft clean. Let's see what else we got down here. I feel a box. Oh, um, so this is uh, some uh, Tampex and tampons, and um, they are not for bullet wounds. I've done a video on that in the past. Um, just so you know, they're they're not for bullet wounds. We have females in the family. And uh, they, they can be used for some small medical stuff, but they're really just not absorbent enough and don't have enough gauze in them to really do a good job on, um, on bulletins. So I know a lot of people 
uh, disagree with that statement, but I'm going with conventional medical wisdom on that one. All right, this is just a uh, uh, blood pressure cuff here. Have all this intact. And I'll never get it back in back in there. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Okay, Israeli bandage. One, two. I guess the C collar. Got a uh, C collar in here for head and neck injuries. Pull that out, put it back in later. And let's see. I'm trying to think of where to go next. All right, let's go ahead and go through this. So these are uh, ab, got some ab pads. Um, they can also double apparently as, I don't know, it says tampon, abdominal, abdominal. I don't know, that's weird. Anyway, ab pads. Uh, this is a large sterile dressing, a big one. Okay. And uh, some more ab pads, a little smaller. Look the uh, yeah, uh, the black box. You're exactly correct. Packing is easy. Unpacking is not. <laughs> That's a true statement right there, my friend. All right. So back here we've got uh, some fish mocks, and then we've got some fish flex forte, and some fish flux forte, and some fish zole. Some bird sulfa and some fish pen forte. And so the deal with these is, is uh, I recommend getting Doc Bones' uh, book on, on these. Uh, it's a very, very good resource. And uh, I just tried to get a wide variety of the different kinds of antibiotics to be able to um, treat the widest spectrum of potential illnesses. So that's kind of why I went with you know, what I did. Okay, so let's put those back in. And let's see. Okay, so the red one, um, I, have, I have multiple different sub compartments like this. And so the idea behind this was that um, each, you know, each one has a color. And so this one is kind of more of the bleeding, the bleeding pouch. And you can see it's got some stuff in here and you can grab that pouch and then take it and, you know, deal with whatever. So we have a whole bunch of uh, stereo strips. And here we've got some tape. We've got some quick clot. Sport foot clock. This is going to be a nightmare to get back in here, probably. <laughs> uh, small ace bandage, um, and you know you can wrap these things wide and tight, and you can you can use those as a constriction band. You may not be able to use it as a tourniquet, but um, it'll get close. Uh, then you've got some some more rolled gauze here. I got a whole bunch of uh, four by fours each in each one of these packages, I think. Um, we've got uh, two triangular bandages. Um, Fancy wrap. It's so kind of that clean, clean wrap kind of stuff for holding the bandages in place. Another one of the little ace wraps. 
another roll of does, another roll of does, another roll of does, another roll of does. Um, cheers. And um, a tourniquet. Okay. And that's just kind of a kind of a strap tourniquet. I need to get a uh, probably need to get a um, North American Rescue tourniquet. I've got one on several or multiple of those in several other trauma kits that are around, but I don't think I have a good one in here. So I probably need to add one of those, even though I've got some. Okay, so. Yeah, TCC classes, uh, Kraken, are really good to take. I just took one with the Marshalls not too terribly long ago. And uh, very good class. I highly recommend it. Um, they, you know, the other thing I need to get in here, I think is, I'll have to look, is some chest seals too. Um, but yeah, they, they, they do a good job. Those classes are, are uh, important. The cool thing about the class that we did was that we went um, and we did some simunitions training with the um, while so we were it was basically putting the stuff on under fire and uh, and it was also to show you that just because you put a tourniquet on doesn't mean that you're out of the fight and I thought that was really good really good training as well. Okay. Trying to repack all this stuff while you guys are watching is probably painful for you. <laughs> if I had to guess. Uh, that's kind of why I've, I've um, not made this video before. is because I feel like it's probably going to be painful to watch. So, sorry for the pain. Let's get that tourniquet up there on top. Plus, first aid, first aid videos to me are always just a little bit boring, to be honest with you. But, okay, so that one's in. Got that back there. Okay, so the blue one was uh, airway, airway stuff, because you turn blue, you know. And so, let's see what I got in here. So we've got some Berman airways, uh, different lines, different colors, different widths, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I don't have an MPA in here. That's funny. So I have MPAs in my other blowout kits. I probably need to get some from here. So it's good I'm doing this, this little inspection, because it gets me <laughs> make sure I, I've got it right. Um, what is this? Single use only. I'm not sure what this is, to be honest with you. Let me look. Some of this stuff came with the kit. Oh, CPR mask. Sorry. Okay, yeah. So it's just a little one of the little bite valve, um, with the bite shields, basically, and you know to do the CPR and all that stuff. One of those. Put that bigger one on top for grabbing it a little bit quicker. Uh, face shield. And stethoscope. Listen for, for breathing. And this is some of the attachments for the stethoscope, I think. Yeah, so I need to get some NPAs in there. I did a video on uh, how to insert an NPA. I did it on myself <laughs> on camera. So if you guys haven't seen that, type in uh, how to how to insert an NPA, reality survival, and it'll come up. And it's hilarious because I'm actually crying on uh, <laughs> on on camera because of the you know the pressure that it puts you know when you're going through there. It's kind of funny. All right. So I need a note to self and add some NPAs to that. Okay, there's that one. Okay, so this one was uh, green and uh, that was kind of like, yeah, you know, you're okay. It's, it's good to go. You, yeah. 
You're not going to die. The boo boo kit, maybe, you know, something along those lines. So let's see what we got in here. Some band aids, some, you know, uh, finger band aids, some, uh, you know, the, the, the kind that go, you know, like on your finger, little H, H shaped and the butterfly shaped ones. Some of those, there's all kinds of crap in here. We got some sting and bite pads, some probidone iodine. Some acetaminophen, crap like that. Some more, more of that. Got a little bit of toothpaste. Some more tape, cloth tape. Bundled up. This one's gonna be a hassle too. A little bit more gauze. I think I just couldn't fit that in another one. Thermometer, old style, not digital. They're actually kind of hard to find nowadays. Some gold bond uh, foot powder, um, some antibiotic cream. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Some new skin. I don't know what the expiration is on that. Doesn't say. It still seems like it's pretty, pretty good. So okay. Uh, Med first purified water. Oh, eye wash, eye wash solution. Can you see these? Lights maybe too bright. Some burn spray. This. Oh, vet bond, uh, tissue adhesive. So basically, kind of like the new skin. It's like super glue for skin. This is 3M vet bond can't get the damn thing out. But it's just a little tube of basically super glue. Okay, some more tape. Some more gloves. Good Lord. A little toothbrush, a little half of a toothbrush. So this is a, uh, a uh, little vacuum packed kit. This just got some more uh, band-aids and stuff in it. Um, transparent dressing. Well, it's a transparent dressing. I guess that's for burns. Not sure. A couple iPads. Some moleskin. That's an important one. It's good to have. And then we got a bunch of Anti-diarrheal meds. There's a whole bunch of them down the bottom of the pack. Got some alcohol swabs, pads, you know. This is a disaster. More band-aids. Tons of stuff packed down here. Uh, blood stop. Curad blood stop. I never used used these before. It's a sterile pad. Supposedly it's good at stopping bleeding. They're real thin though, like hardly anything in them. So I don't know if you guys have used these or not, but okay. Sting relief pads, insect bites, antiseptic wash, um, contact lens solution. Triple antibiotic ointment, crushable uh, ammonia inhalants, and I've got some um, Transcend glucose. Um, in case somebody's like hypoglycemic or something like that, and some more tape, and oh, another tube of super glue. Okay, that is a disaster. I'm just going to. Leave that there. Uh, you don't want to have to watch me pack that all back up. Okay, so the yellow, uh, yellow kit, and this is the last one. The only other thing I've got in here is I've got a bunch of. Uh, I don't know if you can see these. They're big zip ties, big strong zip ties, and uh, I figured those might be helpful in splinting up some stuff too, potentially. 
Okay, let me get this out of the way. Go through and repack this once you guys are off camera. So this one is kind of the um, battery's all nasty. That's good to know. Let's replace that. So this is kind of the uh, tools section, I guess, for the most part. So fun place to put this stuff. Sorry. So we just got a pair of uh, forceps sealed up. Forceps, no, those are tweezers, excuse me. Tweezers. And we've got a uh, staple kit for stapling injuries. And we've got the staple remover kit. And another pair of shears. Oh, this is iodine. Some more iodine in there. Set of plastic tweezers. Uh, 10 cc syringe. Bunch of sutures for stitching up, you know, stitching up wounds and stuff. Scalpel, these are some, some surgical tools, uh, forceps, scalpels, those kinds of things. Almost done. Uh, some more forceps. You know, those can be used for, for pinching off veins and arteries and crap like that too, if need be. Got a little, oh, did it work? There it goes, a little light, a little pin light. Um, a razor blade scraper. <laughs> Not sure what exactly we use that for, but. Um, some thread. God, you would never want to use this, but I suppose if you had to, probably could. Um, more forceps. Small set of uh, scissors. That one's baby wipes, antibacterial. A little flashlight, a little rayback flashlight. That's what that battery was to. Some more good tweezers, little sharp little tweezers. And pocket knife. We're about done. <laughs> a whistle. And uh, surgical blades, no set of forceps. That's pretty much it. Okay, so that's a disaster now. I got a lot of stuff to clean up. <laughs> let me uh, let me look through here and and see what you guys said. So, all right. So black box, uh, I do have decompression needles uh, in some of my other trauma kits. That is something that I need to add to this, just like the NPAs and the chest seals and all that. Um, this is, it's kind of it's kind of like my, I don't know, like support bag or whatever. It, it wouldn't be something that you're gonna carry into combat necessarily. So I have like all my other trauma kits and blowout kits and stuff like that on my other gear, but I probably still need to have backups of that stuff in here. So I'll probably end up getting some more of those, some more of those things. Um, okay. Yeah. Amosol and clove oil. That's a, that's a good idea. Kraken. Those are, those are good for, for teeth for sure. Um, don't have any oxygen. I thought about getting some the other day, but especially with the coronavirus, because oxygen is kind of one of those things that um, so the way that it affects your lungs and all that kind of stuff, getting pneumonia and acute respiratory distress, distress syndrome, you kind of need oxygen, but uh, let's see. Okay. Celox and Xstat. So I had a quick clot. I didn't have any, any Celox. In here, and I've never used X stat. I'm not familiar with that. I'll have to look at that. Glow sticks is a good idea. Uh, black box, that's a good idea. I may add some of that. 
Okay, let's see. Sorry, it's hard to keep track on this. The way that this uh, chat thing moves, it's not real easy. Um, close links. I would also get mouthwash strips for quick sterilization. Huh, I never really thought about that. Um, that's, a, that's not a bad idea. Brian Davis says, JJ, please don't take vids down off YouTube. Any of your goals to leave the platform. Some people only mostly have access to YouTube and you're one of the very best. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Um, I, I really want to move to Gunstreamer, but it doesn't seem like none of you guys do. <laughs> so I may not be. Um, cause you know, if nobody's going to follow me over there, then I, I mean, uh, some, some guys have, um, but all right. Alan Williams says, damn JJ, you're streaming the same time as survival dispatch. Sorry about that. Uh, my bad. I didn't know that they were, didn't know that they were on. Uh, let's see. Suture stapler. Good. Yeah, that's a good point, Black Box. I should also, I should put some label, some tape and some labels on here. That way, if it's somebody else grabbing it, then they could grab it and, um, and, and not have to like, oh, it's the red one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, how would I know? So that's a good one. Melt wax, add peppermint oil. Oh, talking about teeth probably. Nebulizer albuterol. Is that for like, for asthma and stuff? Because that would probably be a good idea if we could get one. Somebody's blowing up my phone. It's buried under here. I can't find it. Oh, well. <laughs> um, cool. Okay. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. If you got any questions or anything like that, uh, again, not really an instructional video. Just showing you what I packed up in here. Uh, a whole bunch of, of stuff. I think it would handle a lot of stuff. Again, like I mentioned, I've got a few things that I need to add. Um, but that's what I got. Um, I've got several other kits like this that are smaller. I've got one from Eagle first aid and I've got tons of blowout kits and stuff, but, um, this is kind of the, the big main one. So, um, oh yeah, for respiratory issues. Yeah, that's, a, that's not a bad idea. And I think some Benadryl I could use, uh, in here as well, and probably some x -Lax too. So I'll probably make a trip to, um, get some over some additional over the counter meds because there's several things that I'm not seeing in here that I could probably add, you know, on that too. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, uh, real quick, let me know, how is this streaming working? Does it, is the sound okay and the video okay? All that on your guys's end, because, um, I just got it, just started out, and I'm hoping that we can get the prepper trifecta going again, and then maybe I can do some interviews and all that kind of stuff, because um, this service, this this Zoom software will allow me to, to interview multiple people at, at once, and um, I think I can do like up to 100, to be honest with you. So uh, that might be kind of weird to watch, but <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So let me know in the chat if it if everything looks and sounds okay or if there's anything I need to adjust or whatever. And I'll try to do that. 10 by 10, five by five. Okay, cool. Um, also, if you guys can think of anybody that you'd like to see interviewed on the channel, then let me know down in the comments below uh, or in the chat, uh, either way. And uh, yeah, Ozark Hiker. Yeah, they're, they're a lot of fun. The group chats are fun. Um, I've talked with uh, Che and Eric and we're both, we're all on board. We just got to figure out getting our schedules meshed up, you know, so that we can get on here and, and all that kind of stuff. Video and sound are great and I have a cheap cell phone. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool deal. So yeah, we plan on, uh, we plan on starting that back up. Prevent hair from going in. I don't know what that is. All right. Uh, I'm going to repack this stuff, but I'm not going to make you guys suffer through it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this bad boy off. Again, for those of you who are watching 
now and later in the comments section if you can throw in some suggestions for good additional items i'd sure appreciate it all right you bet black box i enjoy doing this i enjoy it a lot it's a lot of fun for me and you know if, it, if these things can help people and remind people like the point of today's video is just kind of show and tell hey this is what i got and it was really like an inspection for me because i haven't gone through this thing in a couple of years so hopefully you guys will remember to check your stuff and make sure your stuff's all up to date and all that kind of stuff too so <laughs> all right guys uh take care and i will see you on another video here shortly don't forget to live the six p's proper prior preparation prevents poor performance Stay safe, guys.